The Salvation Army in Nassau County operates core community centers in Freeport, Westbury, and Hempstead, as well as an adult rehabilitation center. All these centers meet a wide range of needs from the youngest to the oldest, children, adults, men caught in addiction. These services, these core community centers, the adult rehab center, all fulfill the mission of the Salvation Army, which was launched by William and Catherine Booth in 1865 in the darkest parts of London, England, to fulfill the mission of God with heart to God and hand to man. Yes, your love, with your heart so soft, oh, and your smile so wonderful, there is one thing. The Salvation Army here in Freeport, we have tried to address the needs of the community. There is a lot of seniors here in our county that need a place to go. We have uh, our senior center that opened in 1970, where we offer a place where the seniors can come and establish friendships with other seniors and with the staff. These days make me so happy. You see the seniors at their best. They're vibrant, they have fun, they love to dance and they just make for a wonderful day. We have a lot of activities, good food, good friends. We have a lovely, lovely time here. This program is one of the best I've ever been to. And I come from New Hyde Park. I come all the way here to Freeport. Yeah, I love it here. Salvation Army, yip, yip, yip. It's a wonderful place to be, and it's a place that many of them feel that this is a place where they belong. Here they can have other seniors where they can relate to, have fun, dancing, games, some educational activities. It's, it's a wonderful place for them to be. It is a blessing to work with the children here in Freeport. We identify those that are interested in uh, creative arts ministries, including music and drama and uh, dance to enhance our uh, ministry, uh, our church, but it's also done so they, the kids can develop uh, music skills and they can discover their potential. Some of those kids, they never hold an instrument in their hands. Some of them, uh, we are very proud of them. They have obtained awards, third, second places, uh, and that has attracted other kids. Well, I love to see the children come into our building. There's something special that happens when they know that they're being seen and that they're being heard. And I love to be a part of that. Another thing that is special is when they get together and they sing or they're able to play a horn and the excitement of being able to uh, not only do this on their own but become part of a group and really become a part of a family. That's it, that's it. There's a lot of people here giving up their time and my daughter will have this. I think that's what we're missing uh, today in the youth. We don't have that structure, that discipline, the nurturing, the caring, and that's what this court does. We are a family. It's just tremendous here and it means so much here. If people just come and see, you will realize that this is a family and you will not be disappointed because my life has never been the same. Sometimes we look for community partnerships. If you were to come to the Salvation Army on a Saturday morning or early on a Saturday afternoon every week, you would see us in partnership with Faith Mission, serving literally hundreds of men and women, breakfast, lunch, as well as providing them toiletries, t-shirts, etc. So the Salvation Army here in Hempstead is always looking for partnerships to better serve the community in Hempstead, believing that sometimes two hands are better than one.
We're representing faith missions here at the Salvation Army in Hempstead. On Saturday mornings, we do probably 40 showers for men and women. We give out clothing that comes in. We give out food that comes in from Trader Joe's or from Island Harvest. But once you start coming, you, you enjoy what you're doing. It's, it's exciting to see where the material is going to. It's not getting just thrown in a bin for, for rags. To see the, the expression on the people's faces and the gratitude that, you know, that they enjoy what they're getting. Alors ça l'aide dans plus la zone là. Liban nous manger, Liban nous voit, Liban nous vient, Liban nous médicaments. Faut bon Dieu béni non. Amen ça. Pour toujours gain marcher, pour toujours marcher. J'ai la marche aller des peuples là. One of the program that we have on Wednesday that food distribution. Uh, those are a lot of people outside people coming there and then and uh, we give food to uh, to them. This is really a good program because it's open to whosoever because some people need to eat and when they come they can have different kind of frozen food fresh food so they can go to the you know to the house and then feed the family a lot of people come back and thank us for, thank us for what we did for them I'm here today at the Salvation Army and they're distributing so much food and it really is a godsend for me and my family my husband and I are working but we have 10 kids and it's it's tough and I'm um, just very grateful there was a place the kid can come and then they they have something which that can help them you know in the future um, for whatever and keep them away from trouble on the street and um, everywhere and we have the music we have dance program where we teach your kids you know um, how to dance ballet sacred dance hip-hop especially the music that we said it's a it's a way that to let the kid know that they are talented hey. weekend is a time of um, we can say challenge for young people. Instead of going to the club, and then maybe some of them might be even killed. Some of them might be arrested. But when they came to that program, they feel so comfortable. They feel like, you know, this is where they belong to. We have services to teach them about the community. And we even have some Bible stuff worship. So sometimes we have some questions, you know, that challenge them out there um, about God. We do really feel, um, love and feel blessed to have this those program for the young people for the people at West Bay Corp. Cuando nosotros llegamos a, a este lugar y vimos que teníamos una comunidad hispana, estas personas eran la mayoría. Quisimos salir a evangelizar, quisimos a, a ir a decirle a estas personas que somos también una iglesia, que tenemos muchos programas y que estamos acá para, para ellos. Esta iglesia por más de 50 años está trabajando muy duro, muy fuerte para que muchas familias sean bendecidas, sobre todo los niños, los jóvenes de esta, de esta comunidad. No solamente queremos enfocarnos en, en, el, en la parte hispana, nosotros también como oficiales del Ejército de Salvación invitamos a todos, porque es, esta es una iglesia que es para todos. If there is a hot spot, if there is a need, if there is a disaster, if there is somewhere in the world where the Salvation Army is needed, we are the first to arrive and provide service in His name. When we see people in need and when we give them something, it means something for them. It doesn't matter what nationality, what ethnicity, what color, what language, we try to reach everyone. Nuestro propósito es simple, como nuestras heces nos representan salvados para servir. Queremos eh, servir mucho, queremos que muchas almas, muchas personas eh, conozcan de qué otra forma el ejército de salvación puede llegar a su vida y sobre todo puede llegar a bendecirlos. Our founder, William Booth, as he was nearing the end of his life in the early 1900s, was sending out his annual Christmas telegraph. He said to his troops in one word, others. And that is still the summation of our ministry and message. As we begin to ease into this Christmas season, I think that is the message the Salvation Army should live by, and it is the message to you as well. What is our goal? Others. <laughs>